update mixed with what I've been loving at the moment. So, I don't even know where to start, honestly. So, you guys know that I'm engaged, so I'm full mode in planning, like, mode. So, <laughs> it's crazy. So, I already have my dress. I have my venue. Um, my bridesmaid proposal is going to be, like, at the end of the month. Um what else um catering is in the work so i'm i feel like i'm at a good spot but i'm officially getting married july 17th so that's one day after jose and i's like dating anniversary so i love that i'm like oh my gosh like it's really happening and i just can't wait i'm like falling in love with my dress even more than when i said yes to the dress so it's amazing but with that being said a lot of things um God has just been speaking to me about like making sure that my foundation is firm. Like a lot of people, they're like, oh my gosh, like the end goal is like is marriage. But like marriage is a lot of work. I don't think a lot of people know. Like they just want, you know, a person to like cuddle with or they want somebody to like just be in their life. And then like marriage is so much more than that. And like the enemy hates marriage. So I need to make sure that my foundation is 100% steady. Um, so if you notice, like on Instagram, I'm on a uh, Instagram social media like fast until November 25th. So I will not be on Instagram until November 25th, like leading up to Thanksgiving. But I feel so light, you know. Like I feel like Instagram took a lot of my time. So with my time now like I can watch movie of course like spend even more time with God praying about things that I want to see like come to pass or asking God for wisdom and clarity in certain areas of my life so like if you're in a space where it's just like dad I don't feel like I have the time or I don't feel like you know I feel like I'm all over the place that tells me like me personally I need to reset my priorities so I had to go back and be like, okay, great. Like, what am I giving my most time to? And I feel like it was Instagram. And you guys know my Instagram is like full of positivity and faith and all that stuff. But still, that can still be prioritized over, you know, other things that I want to see myself into and not just Instagram. So, yeah. Um, I am on um, a social media fast. Um, secondly, I've been doing a lot of diet changes. So, um, my little sister, if you don't know, my little sister is a nutritionist who graduated from Columbia University. On Instagram, her name is Vegan Mani. Um, so she recently had like a sugar discussion at a place in Harlem, New York. And I went and it really inspired me to do some diet changes because I feel like this country, United States, <laughs> thrives on sickness, thrives on you not being well. A lot of things is like a business. Everything is a business. So I really sit back and I'm like, I feel like with me making certain diet changes, like it's like a social thing. It's like definitely like fighting against like, okay, like in low income areas, you have liquor stores, you have bodegas, you have like supermarkets that doesn't have the most like foods that's good for your body but it's just like so easy so they make you addicted to the chemicals that's inside the food so i said three days out the week i'm gonna eat like more, more so like whole grains legumes um just more vegetables like and i think that will allow me to feel better and i already do i've been doing it for a week now and i feel that my body has changed tremendously and your girl has been hitting the gym like two to three times a week um, but I just feel a difference in like my weight, I feel a difference in my overall mood, I feel a difference in a lot of things. So um, it just really inspired me. So shout out to my sisters, like one does nutrition, the other one does um, fitness. So I just feel like my family really inspires me to be like more healthy because your girl would have been eating steak after steak after steak if it was up to me. But now it's more balanced. So yeah, y'all, I had to back this camera up. I was like, Dad, you're old eagles. But um, those are really like a lot of the life updates. I feel like God is in the midst of like just restructuring like my priorities because I've been spending a lot of time on Instagram, which is not bad. And like, you know, but it's just like, where should I spend my time? And like seeking him for clarity, for wisdom, for everything that I should do. That's like career, that's blog, that's YouTube, that's literally everything. That's my future marriage. Like, I need to get my priorities in order. So I feel like this fast has made me, 
it's such a good detox. Like, I 100% recommend it. I'm not a uh, social media, like, okay, be on there 24-7. Y'all already know that's not my personality. I care about the wellness of oneself. I care about faith. Anyways, today is going to be all about my current favorites. So, I have skincare. I have beauty. I have books. I have, like, shoes. Um, but, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's talk about, like, I love beauty. Y'all know I'm in love with beauty. So, my very first favorites are these minted loose setting powders. Now, I'm not the one that thinks that all setting powders are the same. Some are cakey, some are blushy, some are just not good. But these powders are the bomb. And they're so light. It doesn't feel cakey on the skin. It feels very natural. It looks very natural. And I feel like even if I retouch, you know, during the day, it does its thing when it comes to, you know, if you have oily skin like me in your T-zone area. And I just feel like I carry it everywhere. Like, so I've been using the medium deep as a all over face powder and the more so um, light and tan as a highlighted powder. And I've been freaking loving it. Okay, so my second favorite is a blush from Wet n Wild. So I have a video upcoming in collaboration with Wet n Wild and I'm so thankful it's a play, paid collaboration, girl. Paid collaboration. So like God has been doing his thing. I've been praying for more opportunities as far as like YouTube without sacrificing myself because being, keeping it 100, being a faith blogger, I feel like a lot of people want you to be in that rah-rah, either with the drama or literally with just, I don't even know. Like, they want you to be all about just looks. And knowing that that's not me, that's not my platform, that's not, my like, me in my natural being, um, a lot of people don't look for that, honestly. Um, but... I do appreciate brands that allow me to be myself and care about the things that I truly care about, which is Wet n Wild, but um, this is their Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush, and I actually have it on today. Um, I have an upcoming video, like I said, in collaboration with Wet n Wild, using this blush, wearing this blush, and I love that it's like a blush, but it's also like a highlighter. It is so beautiful. So it's um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Blazing Berry. It's inexpensive it is the most beautiful like shade of blush for if like black skin tones i'm telling you it's crazy um try it out all right so let's get into skincare you guys know that i'm such a fan of skincare like i scheduled my very first facial appointment for july 18th i mean july 18th july 18th January 18th and I'm so excited about it. But anyways, this is my first skincare favorite and this is the Belief Aqua Balm, Balm Sleeping Mask and I love this for multiple reasons. So, you know those days when it's just like, I, it's been crazy at work, I don't feel like doing the most, I don't feel like going to put a mask on and go going to wash my face again. All you have to do is wash your face, tone if you would like, and then put on this Aqua Balm sleeping mask and literally you're good to go you wake up in the morning when you're you know nice and refreshed you got that good sleep and you just wash it off and your face feels so hydrated it feels so soft the texture improves you can tell the elasticity improves in your skin due to the hydration but it's a gym all right so next I'm gonna talk about reads because you guys know that I'm a fan of reading I love audible audible is amazing for like my commutes in the morning or like while I'm at the gym. So one book that I really enjoyed last month is by Cleo Wade. I hope, hopefully I'm saying that right, but Cleo Wade and it's called Heart Talk. So it was basically like a poetry book about like, it. okay, let me go to the actual title. Um, but it's called Heart Talk, Poetic Wisdom for a Better Life, Cleo Wade. Um, so she went through certain topics like um, working, overworking yourself, like at your nine to five, but not putting that effort in um, for, you know, your own personal well-being. She went through regret. She went through like having self-confidence and what you do, um, forgiveness for yourself and other like, others. And I just felt like that book um, was so good. And like she said a couple of things that didn't align with Christianity, but if you know like your Bible, if you know your word, you take what you want and you leave the rest on the floor. And that's my model for everything. I don't feel like everybody that I 
me to learn from has to have the same faith. However, I know what I know and some things can be kept tucked and the other stuff can be like thrown on the floor. Okay, so up next I have my food favorite channel. So I told you guys that I'm doing a lot of diet changes um, and one being like making sure that I'm not using as much dairy as I used to use. So finding like a milk alternative, finding um, plant-based yogurts, finding um, more healthier granola. So I have my favorites. So I purchased this last week from Whole Foods and it's the Oatly Oats Milk. Um, so now I can't, I have a lot of allergies, right? So I can't eat a lot of fruits, um, some nuts. Um, so yeah, soy as well, like irritates me. Um, so basically what that allergic reaction looks like is my throat begins to like close up. It becomes very sore, very raspy, like it's a very horrible thing. But, so I've been trying to find a milk alternative that's not almond milk because I can't eat almonds and no soy because I'm allergic to soy. So I went to Whole Foods last week and I was just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to get. And I heard of like Ripple, so I was in um, Whole Foods to get that one. But then I noticed that a lot of the oat milk was gone. So if you follow that protocol too, let me know down below. But it's like when you see a lot of things gone from the shelf, it's usually because it's really good. So I stood in Whole Foods and I looked up like the oat milk. So I looked up the oat milk reviews and they were really, really good. And to me, this is the best milk alternative, you guys. This is the best milk alternative for like dairy milk. Um, so I've been using it with um, granola. I've been using it for like chai lattes, but I freaking love this. And I think that if you're trying to make better choices in your diet, definitely consider oat milk. Um, so my next favorite is this plant-based yogurt. Um, and it's in the flavor vanilla. It is by the company Lava. When I tell you I was not expecting to like this at all, um, it tastes so similar. Like I honestly can't taste the difference between this and um, Shorter Joe's vanilla bean yogurt, which is like my favorite. Um, so yeah, I got this from Whole Foods as well. This whole thing costs about like five dollars, but it lasts me um, for a majority of the week. I would say like four out of three days out of the week, I can definitely use this. So definitely recommend it. So next, um, I have this thing, um, this granola, not this thing, this granola called Paleo Crunch. So there's no gluten, no refined sugars, no junk added. Um, and it has like sunflower seeds and nuts in it, certain nuts. So it has pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, coconut oil, honey. Those nuts don't irritate me, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. So I am perfectly fine with this, but I have this um, in that yogurt. I will have this as a cereal, but I'm telling you, it's amazing. And one thing that I really like about this is that it has no refined sugars. I'm really trying to stay away from refined sugars. Um, so like sugar in the raw, that cane, dom the um, domino sugar, I'm really trying to stay away and use more like natural unrefined sugars like agave or um, unrefined, uh, not unrefined, unfiltered like raw honey so I have those two I stopped putting a lot of sugar in my coffee I don't even have coffee have I had one chai latte within one week so I'm really trying to like do this diet change y'all um instead I've been having like herbal tea in the morning with that raw honey um but I love that about this that it doesn't have any sugar um refined sugars so Get your hands on this. All those food products I named, you can find them at Whole Foods. Next up, I'm talking some fall boot face, and I'm a proud, not so happy about it because you know my spending. I've been trying to skip the month. So, you know, when you have like those automatic payments and you forget to skip the month, so you have like credits, thank God, because I was just like, I need some new boots. I really need some new fall boots. So, I forgot to skip the month for just fab. Um, and I had credits obviously, so I brought two pair of boots. And when I tell you these boots are bomb. So these are the first pair of boots. I'm gonna link them in the description box below. Um, but I love the detail with the key, or not the key, the lock. Um, and I love the colors, like gold and burgundy. I feel like it looks really beautiful. 
beautiful. I'm actually wearing these boots today and I've gotten a lot of compliments and they're from Just Fab. But Just Fab has a lot of shoes, like even summer heels that I purchased from them, bomb, like bomb shoes. So to me, I think that the Just Fab membership is worth it. It's just some months, you know, I can afford to pay the money. Some months I would rather not because y'all already know that I'm on a savings spree. Um, so that's my first pair of boots, and these boots are actually in collaboration with Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, that is my guilty pleasure. Yes, I still watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. I love that show. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, Jesus. Like, that show will always be a guilty like pleasure. I love Real Housewives of Atlanta. Love it. Um, next up, I got these knee-high boots in black, like... I haven't had knee-high boots in a minute. I don't even think I ever, did I ever have knee-high boots? I don't think so. So I've seen a lot of outfits and I um, draw a lot of Pinterest, you know, outfit inspiration and I've seen a lot of people rocking um, knee-high boots. So I was just like, let me give me some black knee-high boots. So these are it and it has still some um, detail, like string tie detail, and it has like gold in it too. Love gold. So I think that these are going to be really cute. Stay tuned on Instagram for the outfit post because your girl is coming back on the 25th with some fire. So get ready. So my very last um, favorite is a podcast. You guys know that I'm very much so into wellness and um, following people who inspire me. So Bless and Bossed Up podcast is bomb. Um, the host Tatum, she's always like, one thing that I, let me, let me just back up for a second. One thing that I look for with people who I follow in the faith is just that they're not talking about blessings and what God can do for them. So like, are you talking about you being flat on your face, like seeking God daily? Like, or are you talking about, oh, I just want you to bless my business or be praying for them blessings? Like, no, 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 no. So I felt like her podcast has a great balance of like, you know, life information such as like how she brought her first home um, and also like scripture getting the word versus like actually having a personality and what you do as well. Um, so Blessed and Bossed Up is a bomb. I love the balance between like real life information like starting a home, how to stay organized and like your business versus like you being on your face seeking God and being in the word. Um, I feel like sometimes it's hard to find that balance. Y'all let me know down below. But anyways, that is all for my favorites. And thank you guys for watching. If you stay to the end, you're a real one. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.